Operation Maelstrom. Right, guys. <laughs>series that you could take a princess slayer versus a marth vader duel of the fates i'm the new jersey knight i'm kvd and we're here to talk to you about the hip-hop and finger blocking butt blocking events that are taking place in our section of the map of derby land and speaking of the aforementioned princess slayer and marth vader versus that happened again Yes, finally the rematch we've been waiting for our entire derby careers, which mm -hmm. has been, what, a season and a half? Uh, a little, you know, <laughs> little over a year. Yeah, roughly. Um, the first bout that I ever called, um, I was really training with Madman Skater Mouth, and I kind of asked him to come out and didn't tell him I was trying to get him to join me in the booth. Um, yes, this story again. Yes, well, this is the rematch of that first bout. This is Southern Maryland versus 540. This time up at the Southern Maryland uh, Convention, so let's see, Convention Center is uh, Capital Clubhouse. Capital Clubhouse. Um, the, the, sorry, the Southern Maryland Air Arena. They're always Air Arena. Air Arena, right. Um, <laughs> but we finally got to see this rematch. We've been waiting our, uh, for the, over a year to see a um, couple just notes that I had, at least. Um, first and foremost, uh, Rach, who has every bit of their bruiser on their team, finally showing a lot of ferocity out there on the track. Uh, wish we had clips. Unfortunately, Drew couldn't be there with us. Mm -hmm. Drew. And that okay, was our okay. uncomfortable Drew moment. Uh, <laughs> There'll be many. Don't worry. Uh, we also have, uh, we talked about Rosie bamfing, but we saw Slaya doing Slaya the same thing. Slaya does the bamf as well. Yeah, apparently. And yeah. she does the, uh, what, do they, what do they call Rosie? Uh, stompy feet? Stompy feet. She does the exact same move. Uh, you could see, you could hear her running all the way from our booth, even with the music and all the sound and everything going mm -hmm. on. Um, we also had, speaking of bruisers, we had Ryan and Betty trading paint. Just a little... Elbows, little shoulders thrown in there. Little friendly hits. Little friendly hits. All out of fun. Oh, yeah. Um, we also saw some tactics out of Southern Maryland that we're not used to seeing, like, man on coverage. Mm -hmm. Whenever there was a power jam situation, they pulled what Mother State does all the time and would break their jammer through by taking out the defense for everybody else. So it was really cool to see. Um, Shred is also growing as a jammer. Every time we see her, she's getting faster. She's getting more sure on her skates. It's always good to see that mm -hmm. kind of growth. Final score, though, was 540 with... 242. 242 in Southern Maryland with 96. May have written those. Out I of think order. so. Doesn't matter. There's a lot of notes here. We got a lot oh, that we're going to be a lot discussing of today. Things to talk about. But of course, we finished the bout. So I talk to people after bouts. That's what I do. They stand next to me and I talk to them, try to make them feel uncomfortable. But not really. I'm the one who's more uncomfortable That's because true. I'm just a more uncomfortable person. <laughs> but I'm gonna go interview some some derby girls. You wanna come with? Yeah, sure. Let's, Let's go. I'm standing here with the. MVP jammer for the 540 Royal Girls, Mad Lips. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Last time we did one of these, she was a blocker. This time, jammer. I know. What did you do differently to make yourself a more effective jammer this time as opposed to blocker last time? Oh, gosh. They're two totally, totally different things. Um, first of all, I'm, like, shocked that I got the MVP jammer. Oh, you did a lot of jamming tonight. I did a lot of jamming, but there's, you know, more veteran jammers that were out there but I had a blast um, it's a new thing for me jamming I've only just started doing it like last game was the first time I did it in a game really and um, Tim kind of gave me a heads up that I was gonna have to do it but um, I had a great time and yeah. I think my strength is just obviously my size and just being able to like bust through a wall bust on through yeah, yeah. very quick too very uh, fast very fast you were even faster on the dance floor last night but yeah. we're not going to talk <laughs> about that <laughs> we're going to leave on 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 that type of on that type of funny question how do you have so much energy today depending on, because of what you did last night a lot of dancing well, going on a lot of movement dancing i don't know i don't know Sometimes where do you find the energy for that I drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> Coffee's good. I had a big cup of coffee this morning. Yeah. On this, the way here. This was a tough one though. Yeah. 
Yeah. That was good. It was a hard fall bout. Yeah. It was dead. All right. That's going to do it for the 540 Jammer. Mad Libs. All right. I'm here with the 540 MVP Blocker DD Dynamite. As you can see, the nice sash. The tiara. Yes. How are you doing this, this afternoon? Good. Okay. Tired. This, since our first one of uh, your first appearance here on Greetings to Derbyland, yes. give us the secret origin of your name and number. The number is easy because it was just my birthday. It's your birthday. And Valentine's Day. It is. So it's a special day. Really. It's, it's a but special for all of us. It gave us Didi. Exactly. Um, but as far as the name, mm -hmm. I have a real short fuse sometimes with my temper. No! Yeah. So that's why I chose Dynamite. All right. That's a, that's a fair enough question. Take us back to the bow. What are some of the uh, strategies you use you, you use this afternoon to make yourself a more effective blocker? Basically just keeping awareness of the pack. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, recycle when I needed to, have good hits. Even though I ended up in the box a couple of times, but we're not counting. A lot of people ended up in the box a couple of times. It was, it was, a, it was a, a lot of penalties uh, uh, thrown around, yeah. which is, you know, always good to see because it's always worth it to see that what did they do some action it's action it's a lot of action it's a lot of action beat. Definitely. let's end on a fun one here speaking of action what was the last what's your favorite action movie favorite action movie. yeah it's a toughie isn't it yes it is the die hard movies the die hard movies you can't go wrong with that well i heard the last the fifth one which i haven't seen i, haven't seen that I heard it was pretty bad so i'm not even going to yeah the, the, the three yeah. you needed to yeah I heard that. but that's that's a definitely a good pick i i approve of that okay your 540 mvp blocker dd dynamite thank you all right okay. i'm here with the southern maryland roller derby MVP blocker Princess Slay. This is our first appearance of you. You've been mentioned many times on Derby Line, but this is the first time you get to see the pretty face of Princess Slay. Give us the secret origin of your Derby name and number, even though we all know it. Let's just let's get let's get a, let's get a little crazy here. Okay, well, Princess Leia is a is a take on Princess Leia. Get out of here! Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Who would have guessed? No clue. I heard I heard of that movie. I think once. I gotta check it out. And uh, when I was trying to come up with a name and a number to go with the name, um, it kind of just came to me Obi Wan. This because we can still use letters in our names. Of course, yeah. next year it's going to have to be something. Boo! Else. <laughs> Wait till you see it. Can you already have a number in mind? Uh oh. You might be able to figure it out. It's All still right. going to be stuff from right, we'll we'll, Star Wars. We'll do the secret wink here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. So yeah, it was. Uh, we're just Star Wars nerds. My whole family, my my biological family, my married family. Everybody loves Star Everyone's Wars. Everyone's got the Star Wars gene. Okay, so take, us, take us back to the bout. You hit hard all the time. We love watching you hit hard. Give us some of the strategies that you use tonight to make yourself a more effective blocker. Um. Well, the floor was kind of slick tonight, so it was actually a tough game for me tonight. Uh -huh. But uh, what I try to do to compensate is a lot more of the positional blocking and just rather than going for the big heavy hits, really just get in front of the blocker and, and just cap her, just try and keep her from moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, lean on my teammates a lot. We did a lot of racing tonight yeah. to try and, and work together to slow slow her down. I mean, we slow her down, we slow the game down, and we get a little bit of an advantage. Excellent. We're gonna end on a funnel here. Since your number is a Jedi on the, on the light side and your name is on the light side, give us your favorite dark side character. Oh, Who's man. your favorite Sith? the dark side of the force oh my gosh um i'm always i always like the the twi'leks so i don't know her name but the the sith name just gave me that and we're gonna be chastised like I how know, can you not I think know, of that I name know, like oh i'm blanking she's tired we're I'm all both tired she's yes. hot and sweaty and hot yeah, whatever okay i have it i have it I it's just, here it's just I even did a on the pumpkin top. one year of her. Okay. Like, I carved a pumpkin out. Yeah, she's Excellent. pretty bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. Bad. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, she's my favorite. <laughs> the MVP blocker for Southern Maryland Roller Derby, Princess Slaya. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm here with Southern Maryland Roller Derby MVP jammer, Car Bomb Kelly. Last time you did one of these, you were MVP blocker. This time, you're MVP jammer. Yeah. What were some of the strategies that you used to make yourself a more effective jammer this time? No, I really don't know, except just pushing it through. Pushing hit, it through. Hit, hit, hit. That was, and hit, hit, just, that was it. Just elbow, a lot of elbows. <laughs> as a lot much of... as I could, because those girls were very tough. Yeah. Very solid. A lot, a lot, so. of, hard, a lot of hard hitters on, on 540 Roller right. Girls. Um, I saw the notice from 
uh, this time to last time, your speed improved. Yep. What, was, what are some of the things that you did to make yourself faster? Um, running. A lot of running, a lot of biking, a lot of skating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of cardio, basically. A lot of cardio, yeah. yeah. And it showed tonight, definitely. You were, you were speeding around because we asked, there are definitely some fast uh, jammers on 540. Right. You're keeping up with them. That was yeah. amazing, okay? We're going to end on a funny one here. We talked about the, the our favorite alcoholic beverages, but let's slim it down. What's your favorite beer? Favorite beer is Guinness. Guinness? I mean, it is. It is. Irish. That's my yeah. favorite. I mean, I'll drink any beer. Any, any beer? beer? Literally. Any, any beer? beer? Someone throws, uh, like, just, here's Coors Light. Yes. Really? Yeah. I'm not picky. Yeah. I'll drink, like, half. I made this in my toilet. You want it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe not that. So not any beer. No. It, it can't be absolute like that, okay? Right. Yes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, your Southern Maryland Roller Derby MVP Jammer, Carbomb Kelly. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. We're here, Southern Maryland Roller Derby, Waldorf, Maryland, Capitol Clubhouse, where we just saw 540 Roller Girls take on Southern Maryland Roller Derby. We see some stuff going on in the background. It's beautiful. very it's distracting. Wonderful, amazing it things. is a wonderful, beautiful thing, but it's distracting. I don't know my name. That's true. Well, I think you're the New Jersey Knight. I'm the New Jersey Knight. I'm KVD. All right, we're gonna head back to the studio. Maybe we might join this going on here. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, oh, oh we got. Yeah. We got. Oh, we got. Yeah. Oh, we got Derby love. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll see you back at the, the studio. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I blame you for this. You told them to push. We we lost our Derby dates. I don't know if you saw it at the end of that. We had you know we had Derby dates planned. Beautiful. It was, Beautiful, beautiful women. And then his mouth opens up with stupidness. I told you check to see if we had any flats before we left. I, I, I still blame him for it. He's tell, telling him about, oh, don't worry, it's not infectious. <sighs> of course, he's talking about the boogie. Stop. Stop. It's infectious. Stop. Stop. It is. We found it's out. Not, it's, it's not infectious. Me. I don't. I don't. It's have, infectious. I don't. It's infectious. I can't, I can't get it. <laughs> I, I. I'm. Proposed to not get that that type of infection. Built yes. up an antibody. Yes. Antibodies, kids. You can't. Uh, we also do have another bout we want to talk about. We don't know that much about it. No, we couldn't go. We couldn't go. Um, Five forty on the road versus the Fayetteville Roller Derby uh, Rogue Roller Girls. Uh, final score was 540 with 112, Rogue Roller Girls with 235. Um, from what I hear, it the it's another one of those the numbers kind of lie. Did, yeah, the numbers kind of lied about the about the bout. A lot of hard hitting. Uh, apparently, it was very very good bout. It was just the numbers don't yeah. don't reflect that. And it was a double header too. So 540 comes in as the second in the double header. You would expect Rogue Roller Girls to be on the road for like. Three days to get there. <laughs> Pretty much, because Fayetteville is not exactly a hop, skip, and a Not jump, around like, the corner, no. Like it is to go to Southern Maryland. Um, but from what I understand, this bout was the better of the two to watch for the fans out there. So that's always a good thing. Um, MVPs? MVP. Uh, the MVP jammer, miscalculation, TI-83. Congratulations. That's the third for her. Are we not including Maine? I think we're, we're including Maine. Cause they... So like 85th. The 85th one, okay. And <laughs> and MVP blocker Mad Lives. Also her 85th. Also her 85th, you know. Doing good job there, ladies. And uh, speaking of all of our ladies, we have Indominal Spirit Time. Indominal Spirit Time or Indominal Duo Time. Because it's not just one person this time. It's, it's a duo. The family monster. The monster family. Monster Rock, Monster Mike. Um... As you know, it's it's a not a secret anymore. Uh, Monster Mike has been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, they did have a surgery a few days ago, but what they found was another tumor mm -hmm. on the liver. So it looked like it was spreading. So they got that tumor out, and you know, the only solaces of, of it is. Uh, they you know, they're just back to square one now. Yeah, no okay. worse for the wear. No worse for the wear now. But through all of that, on July 12th, they were getting ready to go to UVA a couple days later for the surgery. Just a few days before that, they drove hour and a half to Southern Maryland. Monster bounded. Mike was there reading comic books. 
<laughs> but and, and, Monster, and too. Monster made a, made made a thing about it. it's like, oh really? You drove you drove all this way and you're reading comics? I go, well, to be fair. It is the Infinity Gauntlet, and that's a really good comic book storyline. Right. <laughs> but from what I hear, he didn't even crack into it. He was, of course, watching his wife um, kick all kinds of booty up there uh, in Southern America, as she does. And he also did her makeup. He pointed. He drew the ma- makeup. Usually, the uh, the monster mouth was a monster mouth. It was Bat Monster. It was like it got a big cool. pop out of me, of course. But fantastic! Yeah, cool. It was pretty cool. So. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're going to keep on going? Yeah, we're going to talk about the monster Indiegogo, which was um, uh, created from her friend Jenna. They originally put the uh, goal at $10,000. That was annihilated within 12 hours. And of the time of this filming, it is $19,420. Almost double. And it's still, I don't know how many days are left, but it's 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 early. It was a 90-day thing. I think we're at the first month. Plenty of time to get more to get more money in there. Because you know that ten thousand dollar original goal was just to cover the first five or six times he was in the hospital with stints being put in, mm. before they even found out that it was pancreatic cancer. So now that we've got one surgery down, aggressive chemo getting ready to start. I'm assuming this week because they said as soon as possible. As soon as possible. That's right. Here. Um, and then potentially more surgeries. Every dime helps, um, and thankfully we're getting. I mean, just a ton of of outpouring of support. I think that's uh, what you wanted to talk about, right? Oh, I want to talk about, we're going to do it differently. I'm not going to talk to those people. Not I'm going to talk to those people. Whoa. Now I'm here. I was over there, but now I'm here. I'm closer to you. Don't be alarmed. It's the first time we've tried this. It's the first thing. Just be okay. I know it's closer to my face and you're at home snickering and laughing at me. Look at the fat guy, he can't keep water in his body. I sweat, I sweat when I blink, but I'm, I'm sorry, but I had to get a little closer to you. And now that we are friends, let's talk about Monster. Continue to talk about Monster. Um, right before the Jan- uh, July 12th bout against Southern Maryland, there was a benefit concert that was held at the Bourbon Room on uh, uh, three days before. Uh, Monster was already set to play that one anyway, but earlier that week, the bad news hit. So, good friend of hers, Jenna, and our good friend, Hodge, DJ Hodge, if you've ever been to a 540 home bout, anytime you hear uh, the music, that guy's spinning it. Anytime you hear the music of your childhood and your youth, Hodge is doing that as well. So, how you doing, Hodge? But they decided to get together and get... Uh, make it kind of a benefit for Mike and Monster. Uh, they had a big, pretty, shiny box, a little slit on top. People were putting money in the entire night. By the end of the night, two months worth of rent. And that's just the beginning. As we said, the aforementioned uh, Indiegogo almost doubled. There are going to be more and more of these benefit concerts. Uh, hopefully, September 26th, Hodge, Hodge's Sound Fest. Some proceeds will go to Monster and Mike. Um, it was a good time. There was a, a big rock band at the beginning of, of, of the night, a big rock band at the end of the night, but in the middle, Monster took it down. Did a little acoustic, acoustic style. Several acoustic songs, including the autobiographical Monster. I don't know if it is autobiographical. I couldn't really hear the lyrics, but it's named Monster, so that's our favorite song because it's Monster. But it was a good night. There's going to be continued to be more good nights. Um, a lot of music shows that are happening. Uh, and a lot of proceeds will go to Monster and Mike, as they should, because it's going to be, it's a good cause and it's a good time. So I'm going to try to go back to the other camera. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, wow. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I know. I think I, 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 I may want to try it. That's we'll technology see. right there. We'll have to see how this goes. Mm. Um, yeah, that that concert I really wanted to be at. Um, I was just coming back from San Diego, and you really wanted to be there. You should have tried harder. Ninety-five mm. random construction and accidents, mm. and forty-five minute drive becomes three hours because mm. why not? I was too busy coming back from San Diego, where they think they have traffic on the five. Mm. I think I really want to talk about this more. Maybe. You want to try it? I think I do. Okay, I think you can't just look at the camera, at the other camera. You have to 
I went like this and I was matching. So I have to. You got it. You got it. So Wherever the camera is. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay. I have to get used to that. I kind of dig it. I'm going to have to try it some more. Um, but yes, I was out in San Diego. Wonderful side of the other side of the earth, practically, from us. Um, true? Really? Anyway. Um, I went out to San Diego, and as uh, Anna Slam had told me to do, I went to Sin City Skates. If you've never been to Sin City Skates, uh, if you're not familiar with them, they opened in 2005, and they are the 100% derby-owned and operated. Uh, they started out in uh, actual Sin City in Las Vegas. That shop closed as the owners moved out to San Diego, opened up a shop there, and then reopened a satellite shop out in Las Vegas. For those of you at RollerCon, at some point in time this month because when we're recording it and when it's actually going up might be different times may have already happened I might be talking to you from the future or the past i don't understand time doesn't matter definitely check out sin city skates if you're a skater if you're a player if you're a fan of roller derby at all um you can get wonderful things like this t-shirt which happens to be the third one ever purchased it's brand spanking new and absolutely true you can also thank you prop person you can get derby socks like this one that we picked up for cleo splatcher because well reasons Fantastic. These were like 10 bucks and they're incredibly thick, wonderful, hopefully long lasting socks. We'll find out what Cleo thinks. They're fantastic. Definitely check them out. Uh, it's like the Valhalla for anything skate world. Um, but when I was out there, I was talking with Ginger who works at the one in San Diego. Her derby name is Dirty Verdi. She plays for the Sparks on the San Diego Derby Dolls. Now San Diego Derby Dolls are a banked track uh, roller derby league there's not a lot of them out there so if you're anywhere near california anywhere near san diego definitely go check them out um i unfortunately with RollerCon coming up nobody had any belts while i was out there so i didn't get to see any but next time i'm out there guarantee i will be there with bells on cheering for dirty verdi she was fantastic to talk to um in talking to her found out she joined roller derby in 2007 when she was 12 playing for the tucson derby brats um and ended up moving out here and work or moving out there rather and working for sin city skates uh so like i said check them out make sure you tell them we said hi and all right let's see if i can do this again this time back to this yes. one whoa it kind of feels weird doesn't it yeah, like really an out of body experience going to the other camera it really does i give colbert and stewart a lot of credit they make it seem so easy but they're they're worlds ahead of us it's so true they're way smarter than us too because so we're kind of dumb it's so true mostly them this guy this guy um but speaking of this guy we want to talk about our brand new segment which is the new jersey nights new jersey ah play on words if you go to a website called geekyjerseys.com, you get you get the perfect bridge of being athletic supporting and geeky supporting. I have a brand new jersey. The first of many that I'm going to purchase is James Bond jersey. And I'm wearing, the reason I'm just going to take it back to derby related in just a second, that's pretty cool, right? The reason I'm wearing this particular one is because this is the episode that we are talking about 540 versus Southern Maryland, mm -hmm. and on both of those teams, both of our home teams, mm -hmm. there was a 007. That's true. Being represented on both of them. On the Southern Maryland side, Pixie Pistol, 007, and then on the 540 side, Shenanigans, 007. Woo! And speaking of shenanigans she got married she got hitched folks to mr merchandise kevin valentine now granted he's gonna watch that and hate that name but yeah. we can't say his real name because i'm not old enough to say it i'll just go ahead and say it it's timbo slice like i said i can't kiss your mother it. with that mouth i hey drew fix it in post <laughs> stupid drew but, uh, yeah, it was a fantastic wedding. It was good times, a lot of good fun. times. Uh, we, were, we weren't just there, we were working it. We were making sure things went well, and, and every music cues went well, and we were doing a little bit of filming as well. Mm -hmm. We even got on tape, for the very first time, an interpretive dance that was debuting, from the debuting Rosie D. Ribbiter and Jildo. And we're going to go to that now. now. Oh, where do we go? I don't know. Where do we go? I don't, I don't know what's going on. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, but that was, that was a good dance from, from Rosie and Jill. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Wish I could do it. She was dancing the whole night. Mm-hmm. All of them were, but especially Rosie. Yeah. Uh, I was talking to somebody at the bout the next day. They were pretty positive she was dancing in her sleep. She was even dancing before the bout. And a little bit after. I don't... I'm tired now, a week removed from it. I'm tired thinking about her. Thinking about that. I give her a lot of credit. And she's really fun and good. I give her credit. Yeah. I don't have that energy. Never will. No, no. Um, which is fine. Yeah. Um, let's see. We also do have some upcoming events. Speaking of weddings and bouts and tigers and bears and oh my. And oh my. Um, f- August 1st. If you want to come over to Adventure Brewing, one of the 540 sponsors for this season, you can get yourself some phenomenal brews. And you did say that Wicked Nymph is back on tap. As of a few days before Guns' wedding, Wicked Nymph was on tap. Hopefully it'll be there by August 1st. So we can see this guy get drunk off like one and a half of them. That's all you need. <laughs> it's so good. Seriously, Adventure, if you're watching this, get on it. I want just one keg for me, I'm only going to drink two, but I need one full keg, and I'll take the rest home, and we'll just drink forever in our faces. It'll be mm. beautiful. Um, but 540's bartending the whole day, and they get to keep the tips. Of course, Adventure's keeping all the uh, the sales. It's a beautiful uh, good little, fundraiser here. Good little re- relationship they got going. So last August time was first, awesome. Yeah, last time was a good time. So August 1st, come out to Adventure Brewery. Tip well, tip often. Yes, tip all the things. All, all the tips. All the tips. Um, the second, the next day, we're going to be going down with several members of 540 mm-hmm. to go watch Beckley, who of all the teams of 540's faced in the two seasons that we've been calling for them, there's only two teams that seem to have our number every single time we face them, and that's Charlottesville. Mm-hmm. By the way, congratulations, Charlottesville, on making it into the brackets for the playoffs for the WFTDA. And despite the the look or the chagrin on our mm-hmm. face, I, I love all the girls that have Some met good out girls there. there. Yeah, and it couldn't have happened to a better league. Uh, go for the Hydra. Go all the way. Mm-hmm. Be the ones to take out Gotham. I don't care what he says about wanting to see them go undefeated forever. I want to see somebody I know beat Gotham. Also, side note, Gotham, you rule. I, they really do. I, they really, I love yeah, watching you can't, them. You can't really sit there and be mad. No, they're, they're fantastic They're players. amazing to watch. They're fun to watch. Although I think Rose City, if they go again for the finals. Go Gotham. That's, that's where Batman's from. I, I think it's the year. I think <laughs> it's the year. But regardless, we're going to do a whole series of episodes on the playoffs and, and the finals of yes. the WFTDA, the, the search for the Hydra. But speaking of Charlottesville again, um, Charlottesville and Beckley are the two no, teams. No, Mother State. Oh, no, we haven't faced Mother State yet. I'm oh. saying the two teams that have our uh, gotcha, gotcha. our number. We scrimmaged them, right? We were going to. Going to. We ended up doing test footage that night for... Raw exposure, which finished 206 out of 1191. Uh, that's pretty, 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 pretty good. good. Pretty good. 17 percent. Don't know if we mentioned that before. I'm pretty yeah. sure we did like 10 times, and we're going to mention it for the next uh, season until we because, enter it again. Yeah, because. And win because of you. All of you. All of you helped. Um, but those two teams seem to have our numbers, so we're going to go down with several members of 540 to see how well Beckley does against the lo- much lauded Mother State Roller Derby. Q Imperial March theme here because. Oh my god. Mother. We've, oh, we've mother. finally seen them. We watched them versus RCR. Mm-hmm. And you were all you were all about like, oh, come on. It's just talk, ladies. Don't let them get in your head. It's just talk. Punch, 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 punch demolition derby. Oh. I mean, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's justified talk. Mother State really is as good as people say, but their biggest asset is that they get in everybody's heads before the whistle blows. And it's game over. And it works. It absolutely works. <laughs> it's working. I want to see if it works versus Beckley, because from what I remember of Beckley... They hit just as hard. They were some, some hard-hitting girls. Mm-hmm. Some some really nice girls. Mm-hmm. Um, especially, uh, who was the one that got injured? It was uh, Bloodbath Barbie. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Glad she's okay too. Yeah. Uh, but we're gonna go down there. That's gonna be on the second. It'll be at the Roller Dome in Richmond. Uh, then on the fifteenth. Speaking of RCR. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Before I say that, you have to go see Mother State because multi-time MVP from Five Forty is making her debut. Debut for Mother State. Ray Gun or whatever she. Should well, I be going by her real name? Why we go by her real name? I don't time. know. They Mother don't. State they don't Mother, doesn't. They, yeah, they don't do uh, derby names. They do their real names. So. I thought Ray Gunn was her real name. 
I hope that's what she's going as because <laughs> I love you, Ray. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Yes, I don't either. Feel free to leave a comment uh, <laughs> on the pronunciation guide. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we are going to be filming uh, interviews and whatnot after that for a special episode of mm-hmm. uh, Greetings from Dirty It'll Land. It'll be the very first episode of Dirty Land that we will not be doing interviews for one of our home leagues. This is yep. always one of our home leagues. This time, two leagues. We're growing. We're growing, <gasps> folks. It's so exciting. Um, we also, on the 15th, speaking of RCR, heading back as the, at the head of her own army mm. is the returning Country Jam. Country Jam. The girl who got the two of us, ultimately, into the world of Roller Derby. If it wasn't for Country Jam, you wouldn't be watching uh, Derby Lane. It's true. It absolutely is true. Uh, she's now the coach of River City, so this will be somewhat of a grudge match, but pretty much everybody loves country because you can't... Friendly grudge match. You can't not love country. She's Maybe. awesome. Um, definitely hoping to see some other familiar faces. I don't know, haven't gotten confirmation yet whether or not Gypsy Slam, which is still with RCR, but if she is, that's another returning face coming up. Yes. Her last bout with 540 was, was our first one we called, so uh, good to see, hopefully see her. Um... One thing we wanted to mention, um, Hype, obviously our Hype guy, for those of you who do know that we have one from last season, has not been here for a series of unfortunate events, um, the worst of which is this most recent one where his mother, I'm not going to talk about because I don't know if I'm at liberty to talk about what's going on, but she is in having some health issues, and we hope Hype Mom the best, and hopefully Hype returns on the 15th. If you're watching Hype, I'm calling you out. You better be there. Um... <laughs> or text. That's what we do. That's true. We but do. We'll film. We'll film. We'll, we'll do film the film. all of the things. Yeah. Um, I have a question, and I know I mentioned this to you uh, earlier, but I'm, I I did not give you time to think about it, so it's gonna be off the cuff. Okay. Um, we're gonna start doing this at the end of every episode. We're gonna ask just to see who's actually watching all the way through. We're gonna ask a series of questions randomly that we want you to comment on, um, either on Facebook or on the YouTube uh, link. Just comment, leave the best comment, the best ones we will read on the next episode, and then ask yet another question. This one is, if you could transform back and forth into any animal at will, and it cannot be a fictional creature, it has to be one that actually is provably in existence any point in time in the history of the world. If you could transform back and forth into any animal at will, what would it be, and why? What do you think? Oh, to me? Sure. Um, it would be a bat. Because A, reasons, B, I really don't need to see where I'm going because they just go wherever they want. And C, ask me, ask me the third reason why. Ask me. What's the third reason? Because I'm bad. Oh, God. I knew it. I knew it. I shouldn't have asked. Um, mine, had to. mine would be a crow because I like to carry souls back from the dead. Mm-hmm. Actually, just the, the ability to fly around, it would cut down on so much travel time. Mm-hmm. It would just be so much easier. I wouldn't have to... F- I would have to fly in a freaking jet plane. I hate, minus all the wonderful jokes I got to make and scaring people in when they didn't understand that these were lyrics I was quoting from Major Tom and Space Oddity. Uh-huh. Um, I hate flying jets, so being able to just control it myself would be freaking awesome. And the fact that it's back and forth the wheel. So let us know in the comment section below, either on Facebook or YouTube. Um, Make sure to like this video. Also, share it out on Facebook. The more eyes on the site, the easier it is, the better it is for us, the more content we can generate for you. Uh, Make sure to subscribe to our channel to see all of our other videos. If you're interested in sponsoring this show, it's not something we've really talked about, but if you are interested in sponsoring us, please reach out. Uh, Everything that we do when it comes to the world of roller derby is out-of-pocket expense for us. Uh, We don't really have a budget. As as everyone. Yeah, absolutely. As every derby girl. That's just how the derby world works, and it all works off of sponsorship. So if you're interested in in getting in bed with us on, on sponsorship for the show, we'd love to have you, whether you're a charity, whether you're a business, what have you. Speaking of charities, the Gary Retired of 42 Foundation. Cheers. It can be as simple as a sponsorship of a cup. We'll mm-hmm. use it, clearly. <laughs> um, we have no shame. But no, definitely, that's no absolutely shame. true. But you've seen the sign on the side of the road. It says you're exiting Derbyland. I'm KVD. I'm from New Jersey Night. Good night, and thank you. Why? 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 Why?
infectious. No. It's infectious. No. You know you want it. No. You gotta do no. it. No. No. You gotta do it. No. Yep, yep. Uh-huh. <laughs>